facial recognition technology from Apple and Samsung will prompt other manufacturers to include the feature in their devices, a market research firm said on Thursday, adding that 1 billion smartphones will have some form of a face unlock solution in 2020. According to a report by CounterPoint Research, this development could lead to facial recognition becoming the de facto standard for unlocking phones and the gradual elimination of fingerprint sensors in smartphones. The diffusion of facial recognition technology into lower tier price bands will be faster than any other flagship feature due to 2D facial recognition being native on the Android platform, said Pavel Neyer, senior analyst at CounterPoint Research. Google's troubles with its Pixel smartphone range haven't yet come to an end as buyers of Pixel and Pixel XL have filed a class action lawsuit against the company regarding the sale of faulty mobile phone units. The plaintiffs in the complaint allege that Google knowingly sold phones with defective microphones. It also claims that some of the units issued under the warranty replacement program continued to have the same issue. After publicly acknowledging this issue back in March 2017, Google had advised replacement of Pixel smartphones in warranty. A fast company report states that none of the plaintiffs in the lawsuit had their Pixel phones repaired within the standard warranty period. Interestingly, Gerard Gibbs LLP, the same law firm that might be suing Google over the issues in the Pixel 2 range, is handling this lawsuit. To counter Geo's run in the Indian telecom market, state-owned BSNL has introduced a new cool offer for prepaid subscribers. Under this offer, BSNL prepaid customers will get unlimited data access, unlimited voice calls, home and roaming, 100 SMSs per day, and free access to personalized ringback tone PRBT, with a validity of 84 days at Rs. 1099. This gives the BSNL offer an effective price of Rs. 13 per day. Available across all BSNL circles in India, this offer is unique compared to other packs from telecom operators, including Airtel, Vodafone, Idea, that have daily or monthly limits. However, it should be noted that BSNL is still offering 3G speeds in most regions, while the rival telcos can deliver 4G speeds. The state-owned operator has 4G operations in only Kerala circle. Xiaomi Redmi Note 5, the successor to the popular Redmi Note 4, will seemingly be available via Flipkart in addition to Mi.com. This has been suggested in a tweet posted by none other than Flipkart itself. The latest development emerges just today after it was spotted that Xiaomi is likely to launch the Redmi Note 5 on February 14, instead of the previously speculated Redmi 5. The Chinese company already sent out invites for its forthcoming launch event that is possibly the place for the Redmi Note 5. Vodafone India on Thursday confirmed the launch of its voice over LTE, Vo LTE, services in the country. Vodafone Vo LTE service has been initially rolled out in Mumbai, Delhi and CR, and Gujarat, Zorat and Ahmedabad, circles. The telecom service provider had announced the rollout back in December last year. Karnataka and Kolkata circles will be the next to get the service, the company has said. Vodafone has also noted that the service will be extended across India in a phased manner over the next few months. The Vo LTE service by Vodafone will be accessible on popular 4G smartphones that have a 4G SIM from the company. Customers will be able to make calls using Vodafone Vo LTE and get HD quality voice with Super Call Connect, said a press release issued by the Telco. Additionally, Vodafone SuperNet 4G subscribers will be able to access Vodafone Vo LTE without any additional charges and all calls will be billed as per existing plans. Google Photos has received an update that lets you leverage its built-in artificial intelligence AI, technology to start creating perfect themed movies directly using your existing photos. The ability to create movies from photos isn't new for Google Photos since it's been an intrinsic part of the Google Photos app for a long time. However, Google has now expanded the original movie building feature with the option to create themed movies. You can even utilize the new feature to develop a perfect movie specifically for this Valentine's Day and share the same with your loved one. Panasonic announced the Lumix GH5S during its keynote event at CES 2018 and now, the company has launched it in India at a price of Rs. 1,84,990. The camera sacrifices resolution for higher ISO sensitivity to deliver better low-light video performance. This model is an upgrade to Panasonic's mirrorless Micro Four Thirds GH series camera, which features a newly developed 10.2 megapixel sensor with dual ISO. The latter lets you push the sensor's sensitivity to ISO 51200, along with an extended ISO support of up to 204800. 
Another highlight feature is the ability of the GH5S to record in cinema 4K resolution, 2160 by 4096, up to 10 bit 4 to 2 colon 2 video. It also comes pre-installed with HDR Hybrid Log Gamma and Panasonic's VLOG L along with professional grade exposure tools. More than two years after Microsoft's Cortana released for Android and Mac OS users, the app will now include native iPad support. The Cortana app that enables users to access Microsoft's Digital Assistant now has an exclusive layout and interface for the iPad. This means that iPad users will now have the additional option in the form of Cortana, alongside Apple's Siri, Google Assistant, and Amazon Alexa. Notably, the Cortana app is now available for free on the App Store, for iPad users to download. Like, share and subscribe this channel for updated tech news.